I will be comparing multiple face swap, or I should say a similar face generating technique possible in Fucus and comparing the results to find best. I am making this video due to the comments and the community discussions. Now, I answered the question here, but the problem still remains where someone says he is not getting good results. To answer this, let's try the first method I used to generate a similar face, that is image prompt. I will load focus and generate a subject for this testing. My prompt will be a woman. We got two images and this looks good. Let's use this as our base image. I will bring the image into the image prompt. Select the face swap option and let the values be at default. Because increasing value made the result different, as we saw in the previous video, I will update the prompt by adding in the restaurant and hit generate. Let's look at the result. Image prompts works good for generating similar images. Also, I did explain in our previous video about generating multiple such images. The video included fixing disfigured eyes or hands while generating the image using enhance method. We can easily say that the image prompt will work for multiple images with similar faces. Let's look at another method which is a combination of image prompt and in paint. By selecting Pyra can I will generate a different image with the same pose. I will be using this new image for testing the combination of image prompt and in paint. Pyracani is used to capture the pose of an image for generating a similar image. But we can see here, the face resembles the original image to some extent. However, one can easily say this is a different person. Let's take one of the image into in paint. I expect this exact face on the image I added into in paint. I will start by selecting the image. I will be selecting the neck as well, because the image has a different lighting effect, and I want the in-paint face to blend in properly with this image. I will go to the advanced option, and then to the debug option to activate the image prompt and in-paint combination. Just make sure to select the face swap option in the image prompt section for this method. And hit generate. We got two images. Let's compare. The second image had the lighting effect, but the image is different. This will not work on social media. The original image looks young compared to the results. Maybe we can say that the two images generated here can be after four to five years of the person in the original image. What I personally think is, this image prompt and in paint method works better on smaller areas, as I have shown in one of my older videos. This image is from my older video, on the left you will see the original image, and I got a decent result using the same method. I will share the link in description. Image prompt and in paint combination won't work, because results are not similar. But make sure to try on smaller faces though, it worked, you can check my older video. The third method will be image prompt and variation. I will start by uploading our original image into the image prompt, and then I will select face swap from the advanced option. Next I will go to the debug option and activate the mix image prompt with variations. I will upload the same image we used in the previous example. Then select variation type, very subtle. Hit generate. We got the result, and the results are acceptable. I think people may not notice the difference between the original and newly generated image. The eyes are a bit improper, but I did explain how to use the enhance option in the previous video and correct the eyes at the same time while generating the image. Subtle variation works fine, it can be in the second position of face swap methods. I tried another option as well, which was strong variation. The results were different from original and subtle variations. The woman is gaining health if we see from left to right.
The fourth method will be using face swap and pyrokinie. This method will be done in the image prompt section itself by uploading two images. For the first image, I will select face swap because we need the face from this image. Pyrokinie for the second image because we need facial and body structure from the second image. Let's generate and compare the result. The results are good. This can be used on social media. This method is used quite often to create similar people with different poses. Now this is the topic. I want to explain a bit. You can clearly see we used face swap and pyrokinie, and it generated a decent image with a similar face. So why do sometimes it does not work? Like this Reddit post, where I explain the same thing that I am about to demonstrate. By keeping all the details the same, I will just change the second image. Let's say, I want a similar face with a completely different body and pose. I uploaded a photo which is not close to what we have for face swap. Let's generate and check the result. This will definitely work for social media stuff. The hairstyle has been properly blended with the person we wanted to be. There are two primary reasons for this perfection. First, face angle, and second, detailed image. Yes, the quality of the image matters because the computer should be able to clearly identify the area where he is supposed to work and make a perfect copy of face. The other reason I said, face angle. In the example, you will see both the faces are pointing in the same direction. Let's look at a scenario where the model is looking in a different direction. On the left, we have the body pose I want in the result, and on the right is the face I want in the result. Let's generate. The eyes can be fixed, but that's not the point here. Our original image, the face we wanted to be. We haven't seen or met her in person, but somehow, we can still say she will not look like the image on the right. Our brain can imagine and make guesses. The AI here is not that smart, at least not right now. He worked on the available information. We asked to generate this face from this angle. The AI did not have information of this image from a different angle. So, it generated the image using the facial structure of the first image, and the wide chick area from the second image. You will not be able to generate an image with a similar face if your pose is looking in a different direction. You will need a trained Laura of that specific person to generate a consistent image. Let me know if you want a video on training a Laura. My conclusion will be, image prompt will be a choice if we do not care about the specific pose of other models. However, we can write pose in the text prompt before generating an image. I have made a video in my Focus playlist on getting a different pose from a prompt. Mixing image prompt within paint works on smaller section as shown in the older video. Working on portrait gives different results. Image prompt with variation. I will use only if I have to work on a larger area like portrait image. I showed in an older video titled First Order Completed Using AI. Face swap and pyrokinny for pose works great with faces looking in the same direction. You will need a Laura to get perfect results in cases where body pose is looking in different directions. Hope this clears all the doubts. I will be sharing my findings on such topics, so stay connected.